Well, uh, hello guys, how are you guys today on YouTube today? Well, I want to show you guys on how to reset your iPod uh, Touch 5th generation. It's running iOS 7. I am running the iOS 7 on my iPod Touch. The problem is with the iOS 7, it's so damn buggy. And I'm going to show you guys to reset the iPod. Uh, you're going to need iTunes, you're going to need a computer. Yes, you're going to need a iPod Touch. And you're also going to need a USB cord, lightning cable, USB 2.0 to able to reset the iPod itself. To go ahead and show you uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to take the iPod Touch here and we're going to stick the lightning cable into the bottom port and we're going to go ahead and sit the iPod on top of my computer like on the top of the computer like that and we're going to take this end and stick it into the computer USB port here and by the way uh, I already did reform, uh, refactory set my iPod I lost the data on my camera and the batteries had died and that's why I'm going to show you how to factory format your uh, to put your settings back into your iPod uh, touch hill again um, I would recommend we up, or update your iPod I am running iOS 7 uh, 0 0.2 and I'm going to reformat or factory set the iPod here. And by the way, uh, I would recommend you. Uh, I recommend you back up your data before you uh, restore your iPod. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, restore my iPod here, anyways. And what's this going to do is going to waste mostly everything off my iPod Touch. But it's not going to affect any of the stuff I have on my computer. Because uh, I have everything backed up on my computer, like my videos, my music, my pictures, uh, my applications. All that stuff is on my uh, computer here. By reformatting, or uh, yeah, reformatting, mostly it's a uh, restore. Uh, it's called factory, uh, factory settings. And, by factory setting the iPod Touch, it's going to wipe out mostly everything. If you even have the iPhone, I'd also recommend you back that stuff up if you have to able to restore your iPhone as well. But I'm restoring my uh, iPod Touch. I don't really much matter on how much I reformat the, reformat the iPod Touch. I done this uh, a long time ago, guys. I never had this uh, issue with I iOS 6. I'm just having so much issue with iOS 7. It is so buggy. I hope Apple will fix all the bugs inside of iOS 7. But they should. Apple has been a very good company. And like I said, everything does get bugs in it, guys. Everything doesn't last forever. Um, how can you get a bug in your uh, iPod Touch 5th uh, generation or any of your iOS devices? Well, one, th uh, one secret you can transfer a bug is from your USB cable to be attached from your computer directly to your iPod Touch. Now, I'm going to let this here and uh, reformat the iPod. And yes, I'm going to actually put everything back into it at all I get everything restored on the iPod I'm gonna have to let this uh, fully charge before I even attempt to put anything back on it like all my data and applications and everything like that you can see it's just going to sit there and reset the whole device reset settings and stuff like that <coughs> now again what I'm gonna have to do is re mostly reset everything myself again and Put a thing on it. Uh, I've been having issues with the notifications uh, tab. As I'm not getting the mail like I used to, like on iOS 6, like the pop up mail every time I get a new notification, I get a new notification of mail, and the mail come right into the notification. I actually have to reboot my device to able to get the mail 
to send to me from my notification app on my iPod Touch Fest generation. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, a uh, software is not always good for older hardware. Now, the iPod has been out for two years now. It's about two years old, I think. Uh, yeah, two years old because it was done in it was done in 2012, I think, or 2011 or 2012. It's probably one years old, but I, I, I don't know, guys. It's one of those uh, mysteries of Apple that likes to try to figure out something with the iPods and iOS 7. Uh, the problem is I have with iOS 7 is, one, because Apple releases the iOS too soon. I wish... Uh, I wish the company could actually release the iOS 7 in October instead of instead of September. Yes, I did update my iPod in September. It came out and I updated it uh, the 19th on Thursday. That's when I had all the uh, bugs and issues and stuff like that. And by the way, this normally would take a very long time to reformat if you actually had a lot of stuff on your device like I did. Sorry guys, I just lost uh, so much uh, footage on my uh, camera. My uh, batteries died on my camera and I'm going to have to show you guys again without anything on the iPod. Um, I am running the Cronus iOS 7. It's pretty good. Pretty good operating system, but not very good for... Uh, not very really good for older holder, by the way. It's better designed uh, for newer holder, like the iPhone C and the iPhone S for the iPhone S uh, uh, software uh, information and stuff. Now it's going to count, going to count down other thing. It's going to, you know, it's just going to reformat other things, going to reset other thing and stuff like that, and it's going to. Uh, we install the drivers on my computer for my computer and my iPod can talk to each other and stuff like that. And you notice on my display there, that's all my music right there, guys. I did not lose none of my data on my computer. It's only on the iPod I am resetting the device itself. And it can be quite frustrating because I'm constantly booting my iPod and I hope... Uh, I hope for the last time I have to reset this device, it's going to work just fine, but I don't know guys, I don't know, I'm going to see what it's going to do, and see if I can get other thing to restore uh, properly on uh, my iPod. I hope I'm not going to have all these bugs, but again, I don't know. And what it's going to do, it's going to say, hello. Uh, set up my new iPod. Well, we can do a factory image, like a backup image from a couple years ago. I can do a iPod 1, iPod 2 from October. Well, what we're going to do, instead of doing a factory image, we're just going to go ahead and actually do a brand new iPod instead. And the reason why I prefer to do this versus a factory image because it's going to actual actual help to boost the iPod a little bit. Uh, do you want to reinstall your application, sync your devices to your iPod? Well, yeah, we can do that. Uh, well, we're not going to have anything on your iPod because, again, it's not going to be nothing on the iPod. I have to... Uh, I had to sit here and play with the apps and the iCloud and I restore the iPod itself from from the uh, from the device itself. Uh, it says, do you want to sync with uh, iTunes and stuff like that? It says, I'm going to sync with Wi-Fi, of course. We're going to have that open uh, with the computer and I plug the device in as well. Uh, you have two choices. You can do a backup of your computer or back up to iCloud. Well, you can only choose one. I'm going to use iCloud for the backup. Um, I need to kindly uh, reset the iPod here. And it says, hello, set me up. Set up. Oh. Let's see um, what Wi Fi to hit here. Again, I don't know why it's not seeing the Wi Fi on the iPod. Right, there we go. We're going to hit next. Yes, yes. Um, 
Hold on here guys, I just gotta type in a uh, Dewey Hill. But I hope to get my iPod up and running soon. I, I, been, I love my iPod guys, it's been a very good iPod touch. But it, it's going to be quite really flaky and all sorts of uh, flakiness with, with iOS 7. Uh, the reason why it's so flaky with iOS 7 nowadays is because it's designed, it's mostly designed for older hardware and stuff like that. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Like I said, iOS 7 is a good operating system for newer hardware, not for older hardware. Like iOS, uh, like iOS uh, 7 is designed for I the iPhone C and the iPhone uh, 5. And stuff like that. But, you know, this reset other thing, and that's just the way it goes. You know, stuff like that. But it can be quite frustrating sometimes. Um, it just always works out a different way, guys. You know how everything goes when you have to constantly restore your iPod Touch or your iPhone and stuff like that to the factory image. And it's a pain in the butt, and I know that for sure. Because every time I constantly have to uh, constantly reset the device as well to get the factory image to work like it's supposed to. And the factory does work pretty good on most devices. But to reset the iPod constantly, uh, I you know, roughly need to do it once, uh, once a year. Uh, mostly, actually, guys. But, you know what they always say, sometimes a factory image can always help to uh, increase the iPod's performance and stuff like that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It only depends on how the iPod is awning at a good normal speed of uh, what it's set up to uh, be on the device itself. But you know, it's just a it's just a real pain because sometimes you kind of have to hope your iPod is going to work, set up everything again. You know, put uh, all your iTunes and your icons and your music back on again and stuff like that. Um, well, let's see here, app ID. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Um, we're just gonna, um, you know, fix this, uh, little heel, guys. Um, like I said, I don't know what else to say about iOS 7. iOS 7 is a good operating system. I'm just gonna go ahead and place my iPod over there, and I'm gonna let it fully charge before I do anything else with it. I just gotta do some all and stuff to it, uh, fix it, <coughs> that kind of stuff. But iOS 7 is a good operating system for uh, new uh, items. Uh, by the way, I did not lo I did not lose anything on my computer, guys. You guys can see, hey, all my uh, pictures, artists, uh, music, everything is still here, guys. Nothing is, nothing's missing, guys. It's just when you do a factory image on your uh, iPod Touch like this one. Is you're going to lose all of the data off the iPod as well. I would recommend if you decide to do a, a restore, please do the backup on your iPod Touch or your iPhone or your iPad or any of your iOS devices because you don't want to lose all that important data you have on your uh, device itself because once you lose that data, guys, it, it's it's really hard to get back. But if you back it up on a daily basis, like a computer or a iCloud backup or or iTunes or whatever you have, it you will save that data. And iOS 7, eh, it's a little buggy. Yes, it is very buggy because I have issues with the bugginess on my iPod Touch 5th uh, generation though. though. But I hope Apple will eventually work out the bugs, eventually. And Apple always, always can work out the bugs in, I, in all the iOS applications they're going to uh, always to do 
for the customers and stuff like that. Apple, you guys do a very good job of uh, keeping your customer, uh, customer, customers happy, by the way. I love my iPod Touch. I really love it because it's my, my only music device because I like listening to music on the go. And I don't always like to carry my uh, computer to listen to my music. That's the reason why I mostly 99% of the time carry my iPod Touch around with me all the time to be able to listen to my music and <clears throat> stuff like that. Um, you know, I did a, you know, a factory image. I hope she's going to want a little bit smoother. I just got to re mostly reset everything up on it and stuff like that. But you know what? That always happens with everything when you buy any type of iOS device. Brand new or refurbished or you constantly have to do a factory restore. That's just the, that's just something uh, that's going to always happen with uh, any iOS device. Because you constantly have to do a uh, constantly have to do a factory image. Now, the factory image, what it does, it does resets mostly everything on the iPod Touch. It resets the settings, resets mostly everything, and it also tries to get rid of the bugs out of the device itself. But by the way, uh, guys, I would recommend you guys wait for the update. But if you want to update it, go ahead, guys. That's totally fine. Be that one. You will get bugs in your device as well, like I have here, and that's why I am doing the iOS 7 uh, reinstall installation. Now, again, I can show you all, all my music is right here. Every single file is on my iTunes library, on my computer. I'm not losing any of my music because everything is on my computer, my videos, uh, everything. Other thing, my uh, pictures are on my computer. You know how it is. You know how it goes, guys. Once you do a factory image on your uh, iPod Touch, sometimes it's a uh, sometimes can be quite tricky to do the uh, install of the iOS device itself. Now, I recommend leaving your iPod kind of like uh, fully charged uh, before you kind of do anything with it because you want to have a fully charged battery but I will fix everything and I will keep everything I uh, hopefully up to date on it and constantly making sure everything is fixed now by the way yes I did lose everything on my iPod touch I lost mostly 100% of everything I had on them like my music my mail uh, I just gotta reset out all that stuff back up again. But that's the story it goes, guys. It it just happens. It's just something you never, never under expected uh, for a iOS device to crash or to have bugs inside of it. But yes, it's a pretty fun uh, just experiment. Constantly have to fix it. Constantly uh, always have to do this to do that with it. It's because it's just the way it goes in iOS 7. In iOS 7, yeah, it's, a, it's okay uh, for some older equipment, but it's not always good for the older equipment, by the way, guys. Like I said, do the history to make sure your uh, device is compatible with iOS 7. If it's not compatible with iOS 7, uh, you may not can update it at all, guys, because... Apple always does this when the Apple decides to make a new device. Okay, we're going to cut that device from getting any more updates to it or any updates at all to it. And that's the way mostly Apple works. And that's the reason why Apple does this all the time. It's cool and all, but it's a very pain in the butt, you know, that kind of stuff because uh, bugs are always going to be lingering. Some more in your device itself, guys. Now, the reason why, how can you get bugs? Now, obviously, you can get bugs from your PC, your Mac, by transferring it from the USB cord to be connected directly to the iPod as well, to the computer and everything else. But, hey, you know what? That's just life, guys. Bugs are always going to uh, be there and always be a pain in the butt. 
like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, tutorial on how to restore your iPod Touch. Please uh, leave a comment, please subscribe, please like, please share. Peace out. Bye guys. We'll see you in the next vlog.